two days ago I went to town to try to buy a steel pipe long enough to be my propeller shaft. But they only had one that was thinner walled. Basically no good. It was too weak. So I got back here and I'm going to figure out what to do to connect enough of these things together to make the propeller shaft. So I'm worrying about that next. But uh, yesterday what I did was I mounted the gear on here. Now this is this has always been one of the uh, the trickiest things about building things with gears is getting the gear to stick to the axle. Because a lot of times, you know, if the gear is driving the axle, it's, it's kind of hard to get it to attach without slipping. So what I did here is this is a bolt and it goes in about this far. Uh, and I cut the bolt head so it makes this star shape. And then I carved out the star shape in the gear, then I heated up the bolt and stuffed it in there so it melted itself right into the gear. And then, since that wasn't going to satisfy me, I did basically the same thing with the other end. I took this pipe, cut it six times, flared those bits out, and then uh, carved the corresponding grooves into the gear, then heated this up, and stuck it in there to melt it in nice and solid. So now that gear is is stuck on there. Oh, and the bolt going through, of course, is held in with another bolt going through this way. So this, this thing is like going to break before it slips. Not that I want either to happen. This is non-adjustable, which may become a problem at some point, at which time I will make it adjustable. sure I can make that fit. Alright, that'll be my splice between my top pipe and the bottom pipe. Now I'll add enough length that I won't need a third whole piece. That's Try to go any further with that, it's gonna break. Alright, there, I should still be able to get all the way through, even though I don't have full threads.
since this is going to have a joint in the middle, I'm going to put a ball bearing, well, a roller, roller bearing here. Ah, it would be a good idea even if this was a solid piece. But I did just make one, and it'll use the actual shaft as the outside. So I just need to get this part on there. I'll leave the nubs sticking out of these ones, these bolts, in case this bearing tries to escape. Looks straight enough. I guess I better put this in place before I bend it. Got them all in there. Whew, nice bearing. Alright, plenty sticking out at the bottom to attach the propeller. I think I have some ideas of how to get a bearing in here without having to take the whole thing back out. It's a little too tight in there, the bearing down in the middle. I guess that section of pipe is a little skinnier than the rest. Hmm. I guess I can pull all the little rollers out and shave them down a tiny bit. Hold on, I just pulled it out and there's a bunch of dirt in there. Maybe I just need to clean the tube. should be right about where the bearing is. some poorly timed rain. Another 20 minutes and I would have had this bottom part reconnected and water wouldn't be able to get in there. So I'll just have to cover it right now until this blows over.